Uh, it's getting closer. Your lights up might not even work. Well, that just happened. It's Monday and I'm going to work in my classroom today, but before I go, I'm stopping off because one, I have wet hair right now because my hair dryer decided not to work today. So I'm going to stop at Ulta and just kind of check out their hair dryers and see if that's like which one I want. But I also am needing a good pair of jeans because of course I'm tall. And so all of my jeans that I have that are like the skinny cut are too short. And the other pairs that I have, I have like another pair that's long enough, but they are the flare jeans. And I'm so I'm going to look for some skinny jeans, but I also would like to get a first day of school outfit. I have some stuff in my closet, but nothing I'm really crazy for. So I'm going to go shopping first and I probably won't get to spend that much time in my classroom today because of going to shopping first. So... And I probably really won't be able to spend that much time in my classroom today because I'm going to be shopping. So, wish me luck. I just... Back from Ulta. May or may not have tried out some eyeshadows and may or may not have bought some eyeshadow palette that I probably didn't really need. But it was too pretty to, like, not buy it. And it was, like, very fall colors. Got a hair dryer. So that's off my list. I went to Marisa's as well and I got some jiggings and they're awesome because not only are they like super soft but they have pockets. I've never had a pair of jiggings that doesn't have that has pockets even though they're kind of tiny but it's something. I did not find a first day of school outfit. There was a couple things I liked but nothing for the first day so I think I'm just gonna go to Starbucks and go work at school for a bit and I'll probably later sometime this week go shopping for a first day of school outfit. I'm into my classroom and all of this stuff that I put magnets on on Friday is coming off so none of that's sticking. Same thing over here. <sighs> Just when I thought I had something checked off my list I didn't. I've been at school for about like 20 minutes. I've been to the front office for the color copier three times now, making my second trip all the way down to this laminator because the one in our hallway doesn't work. And I'm hoping that's the only thing I need to laminate today. These are some crown boxes that I have. I just organized them by color. Last year I did a fairy tale theme, so I have like these. Oops, there's some pink ones in here. Oh. Last year I did a fairy tale theme, so they're more like a wood wood color. And then I found these on on um teachers for teachers. I believe this was just a primary life. I'm not sure I'll link it below. But I am just going to hot glue them onto here like this and hopefully they will stick. We'll see. drawers. I actually call them a crown hotel. The kids think it's hilarious because I tell them they have to make sure that the right color crown gets back into the right hotel room so they can go to sleep. And obviously I had some lovely kindergartners last year decided to color the handle so I'm going to clean that tomorrow with a Mr. Clean scrub but that's what it looks like. I'm liking how it's turning out but I'm just going to let it sit overnight and hopefully it will stick on there because the white was starting to come off a lot. So this is going to be the I came statements and the circles I just added the font from schoolgirl style and then my plan is to, I don't know if I'm going to make 
like another circle in that color that's plain and then write the I can zoom in there or if I want to make it like a rectangle I'm not sure I'm kind of glad that these were falling off with the magnets because I didn't really like them because this was not the same colors as the schoolgirl set that I had so she has these circles that are plain and I, I just added the pictures and the words so on here's for a special schedule this isn't actually our schedule but it goes for it so I'm gonna have that up there so the kids can see what specials we have for the week I'm also need to print off more no school ones and no specials ones where because there are some days where we're at school but we actually don't get to go to specials for early release days but there's not too many of those and then of course if we're not at school that day but I feel like how these have turned out now because those magnets were coming off I added I don't think you can you might be able to see it just a little bit but I added scotch tape to the back of them and hopefully they will stick better and that's the same thing that I did for these I just added the scotch tape on the back and hopefully these will not be falling down tomorrow so today I didn't really do that much in my costume just because I got here later I'm gonna head out though guys today is Tuesday August 8th I'm gonna be working in my classroom today a week from today is not only complication but also back to school night my room is a hot mess so for my goal for the next two days is to get it all set up and ready to go so that way Thursday and Friday I can be working on getting ready for back to school night and for uh, the first day first couple days of school because our first day of school is going to be on a Thursday and so Thursday Friday for our first two days so I like to plan a lot of stuff for that day so I'm wanting to have my room my room to like at least look acceptable because in worst case scenario if I'm not ready to go my room can at least look like it's ready but right now it does not look ready at all so I'm gonna go work in my classroom today wish me luck I'm hoping that the stuff from the magnet tape that I put up on the whiteboards and stuff is still working so we'll see and there's also a lot more people today because this um but the you know week before school starts where people are coming in so we'll see if I actually get work done before I end up just chatting to everybody all right guys just got back into my classroom so far this stuff is sticking yay and so are my class job I did get my focus wall finish so I have the subject and then next to it I'm going to write the I can statements inside and then I added some flowers at the bottom on the back up so you guys can see this okay so that's what it looks like and then writing center I'll just put up the cards as it gets closer to the ear because it doesn't need to be completely done what else did I do classroom update it still looks like a mess looks like a train came in slowly coming together staring on the finger about that oh that sign just fell down so I'm gonna have to fix that too I think that's a sign to go as I was heading out I just realized that I have a problem with stripes this is a lunchbox this is my teacher bag and that's my purse I think I have a stripes problem hey guys and good morning I look like a hot mess I didn't do my hair or makeup today I mean, I brushed out my hair, but that that's that's about it. I'm here back at my classroom. My mom's going to come help me today. My goal is to get those labels for my art supplies. I want to get those done. I actually would like it to look like it's ready for parents to come in, even though it wouldn't be because I haven't done any back-to-school night stuff. But I would like to at least start cleaning it up so I could have two days of trying to get ready for all that because... I have three, four, five more days until we have to report back to school, and Monday is a work day. Tuesday's convocation, back to school night, meetings. Wednesday is basically meetings all day long, plus a 
like we're supposed to get work time, but I uh, we'll see what happens. And then Thursday's first day of school. So I'm a little bit panicking because it's getting closer and I just need to get stuff done. So we'll see how it goes today. My plan is to get all those tubs that has like stuff that I brought from my mom's house and like stuff that I've just been putting in from last year's theme. My plan is to get rid of those today and put my stuff in there and get ready to go. And then I can take like how my room looks ready for like first day of school, like pictures and stuff like that. So I am going to go ahead in and get started. And this, my friends, is my current situation. It's just a mess. And all these tubs, these two tubs are from my parents' house. I'm gonna go through these, figure out what I wanna keep here, what I wanna just keep in my basement at home. And then this tub is stuff from the classroom last year. And if you've been wondering what these two green noodles were for, I made a beanstalk last year because I did a fairy tale theme. So if you see those, that's why they're in there. So well, let's get started. Okay, so my mom just added these blue lanterns at the bottom of the bulletin boards. And it looks good except for I hate how right here in order to reach you have to do that instead of going straight across but I have all these other cords from my computer so can't all be perfect. I had made these cards and they were too big for my book boxes and I'm going to use them for my cubbies. So I'm going to go ahead and because I use a sharpie I'm going to go ahead and do the trick with the clerk swipe and a expo marker and erase them and write my students names on there. red and pink because it's been warm in here and I've been working um, a lot. So I'm just going to kind of show you an update of everything that um, me and my mom did today in the classroom. So I already have these up here. Then I printed off the circle numbers and then I'll just grab them and then I'll put them like, so number one will be like a door holder for the day. And then if they're on the vacation, I'm just going to put them under there for the numbers. In here, I won't show you all of them, but I put the late my mom put the labels on here. There are some that I don't have labels for yet. I need to go make them because she didn't have that on that set. We also put labels on these tubs. So this is where my kids will turn in their folders. If they have any notes for the office, I want to put in here, and my messengers will take it down. Right now, this is band-aids. I think I'm gonna change it to like a first aid kit or like a boo-boo kit or something because I want to put band-aids and like boo-boo lotion if you've heard of that or boo-boo cream different stuff like that in here so it's the kids can get it with the, by themselves and don't really have to like wait for me to help them and they can get that independently and then whenever I get notes from the office I'll just put them in here until I'm ready to sort them out into their mailboxes and for their mailboxes my mom also put washi tape on these clips because I just take them and clip them on here and then I use a sharpie and I write their first names on here and I put it in number order and that way if I ever get a new kid or if something changes I just take it off and put on a new one so we did those we hung up there's another tree here this is gonna say I'm not done so things that my students haven't finished yet I'll put in this tub these are glue sponges. These are the containers I use. I need to make them tomorrow. I have sit spots instead of a rug. So I went ahead and cleaned those. Some of them, like my yellow and green ones, didn't come off so much. So the pink and blue one for fall did pretty well. These trees that I got from Target, we're going to use them for snack time. I microwave and fridge. And then this I'm kind of excited for. I'm going to put all my stuff that I need for coffees in here, if I need a laminate in here. And then in here, it says parent volunteer. So if I ever have parent volunteer, I normally put this stuff in here and I'll like write how many coffees I need. 
but I'll put um, like scissors and tape and just different tools that they need so when they need to do something they don't have to interrupt me teaching to come and get it. That's all finished. Well you kind of saw this earlier. But we put the string of lights down here. That's for the writing table. I need to change the labels to actually match what my writing center is going to have. Two pillows down there for the kids to sit on for a flexible seating. My dad actually needs to raise this table for me. So we do that. We kind of put this here to fill up space, but I might actually have to move it down because the student computers are really close to these last two cubbies. And if I don't have 23 or 24 kids, then it's fine. If I do, then I'm gonna have to move this over. I don't know what I'm gonna put in here yet. I'm not quite sure. This table I'm gonna use for science and nonfiction center. So I'm gonna raise it up and then I'll have different items in there. So I might use the tubs for that. What else did I do? We also cleaned it a lot. We took a lot of tubs home. So this actually has like a lot of floor space. And I'll put my sit spots right here. On this carpet, I need to move that desk. There's all the border there because we don't know what we're going to do. We still haven't figured out anything for up here. I'm only missing two numbers now because I need my dad to help think of the other numbers because I'm not quite tall enough to get it and I don't know where the big ladder is to go put that up there. We still need to fix these two walls. We're going to add some stuff to my welcome sign. And that's gonna be my leader and me wall. So yeah, that's just kind of an update of my classroom. I'm gonna go home. I've been here, I stayed late today. I've been here since like 9.30 and it's going on 5.30. So I'm gonna head home and make some stuff on my computer to um, like labels and stuff that I noticed that I need to do. And I'll be back tomorrow because this room needs to look done by Friday. So. Today is August, Thursday the 10th, and again, we're in my classroom. So the goal today is to make it look like it could be ready to go, even if it's not. So what that means is that I need to clean off stuff, I need to put things away, and then I need to start getting tubs out for back to school night, which is next Tuesday. So I'm gonna head on down there. I'm currently going through all my stuff that I use for guided reading. I got these. And these were all like targets, like party spots. So these googly eyes that are ringing, you just put them on your finger, but these are kind of small for my kids. So I found these little monsters at Target. Look how cute these are. These are so cute. The kids are going to love these. And I also have in here slinkies to stretch out words. I just got those. So they're not really um, coming apart yet. And then I have these finger lights that might not even work. Well, that just happened. Okay, we'll try that again. Okay, so like I was saying, these lights, you just push them. Can't see it. But then it has the little lights that we'll use. So these are just fun little tools to use with my kids. So my attempt today is to get this calendar wall done. So I'm gonna try and play with it for a bit because I have kind of like this awkward space right here. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it. That's our wish you well. Wish, <laughs> that's our we wish you well sign. We put the kids pictures in there. I wanna say that's conscious discipline. I can't remember exactly what that is. I don't know if I'll keep that there or if I'll move it somewhere else. <laughs> tape around these for my how many days of school I'm using base stream blocks and you some of you may be wondering why I'm using this like a hundreds for tens and ones and that's because I want them to all be the same size so when then I take them off it'll be like that and then plus when we fit in our tens 
they will be tall enough. Now the ones I didn't need all that space. But I think it gives it a cleaner look. I think I'm going to go ahead and laminate this and these. I just don't know what to do up here. So I think I figured it out. I decided to go ahead and do the days, how many days of school here, and that's going to be for the number of the day. I did decide, because not all these will fit, that I'm just going to keep in here. So when we get to that scale, we'll just add it on here and probably remove one of these, because after a while, doing like before and after and tally marks get kind of boring for them, so we'll probably switch it up. But that looks good. And in case someone's like wondering, that date up there is the date for back to school night, so I figured I might as well leave that one up there. So as I was getting my classroom together, I realized that I should probably go ahead and start making my glue sponges because I like it to sit about a week before school starts to make sure that the glue gets in there. So I'll show you how I did it next. I have eight containers. Tell my kids that four kids can share one glue sponge. I got this box at Target. The sponges are from Target as well. All I do is I put the sponge in there. I personally use two glue bottles. And then if you're wondering what the bubbles are, that's from hand sanitizer to make sure it doesn't get all moldy. And I let these sit until maybe Monday or Wednesday. I'll have to look and see what they are. And then I will flip them over to make sure that both, and then I flip them over and then I see if I need to put another glue bottle on there. But I keep enough glue bottles so at the end of the year, I want to make sure I have enough so I can set these up. But these are super simple. The kids just take the paper and glue it on there. I don't have to mess with glue sticks drying out. I don't have to mess with glue bottles being stuck all the time. So I love these. So currently, this is what my room looks like. Ignore that tub and that tub. I need to take that home, but I have no room in my car. These tubs I'm going to use for practice school night to grab some, to like hold supplies. That back table I need to clear off. Over there is all those tubs that I still have any put away. I need to put away all that stuff. Also, before head out I have to get a bunch of tubs to put in there but I forgot to unload my car last night so I still have a ton of stuff so I'm gonna put in a couple things I think I can put in my extra chair that I have and another tub but I think that's it we'll see how much I can fit in there all right my car is loaded up I'm ready to take this stuff in. hey guys good morning it's Friday this is the end of my last week of being off Monday, I'm back for good. I went to Starbucks, got a drink. I have some paper from yesterday that I picked up. I'm gonna finish up some bulletin boards and make it so my room looks like it's ready to go and possibly start back to school night stuff. I'm not quite sure. We'll see how far I get today, but it's getting closer. All right, so I'm making some not really necessarily Baltimore, but a sane to put up in my sink there. And it's a, like, you are this, you are that. I'm gonna, you'll see later. And then I got my Astro Brights paper, so I'm just gonna put this together of how I want which boards to see what color. Then I'll cut them out and then stick it right up there. I just finished cutting out all the letters. I didn't realize how long it was going to take me and then I also didn't think about how I'd have to cut out the middle of these. So 
I just finished cutting those and I'm gonna put them let's see if I can put them up here in this wall wish me luck letters and as you could tell I stopped on the word be important because all the letters won't fit so let me show you so that's what I have so far but I can't fit the rest of the word important even if I moved down these letters it's just not going to work and I wanted something over here now I'm not quite sure I have this little space over here, but that was gonna be my leader me wall. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to switch. I think I'm gonna have to put this saying on this wall and my leader me stuff I'm probably gonna put here. Because I can't get my letters up on that wall, I'm not sure where I'm gonna put them, but where I'm going to put it, I'm just gonna, I just took them down. So now I'm going to label these clips are just binder clips and then we put washi tape on them and then I just label my kids names on them and then I'm not gonna clip them on the mailboxes yet I'm gonna wait for back to school night to do that but I'm just going ahead and write the names of the kids I have that way if I get an add-on I can put it in alphabetical order <laughs> seeing that the only thing I really need to do is put up the sign that I tried to do above the sink which isn't gonna go there I'm not sure where in my leader me board as far as like bulge boards but I just kind of need to like clean up and get a start for back to school night so I'm gonna start laying out some things that are for back to school night um something I like is I print off pictures of the supplies that I'm going to have collected in buckets because some things are going to be in their buckets and some things are going to be in their cubby. So those are all the tubs. Well, most of them I need one more tub for Kleenexes. But the students will put their community supplies in there and the rest are going to go in their cubbies. I don't know what your school does, but our school for the last two years we've been getting t-shirts and oh my goodness, our t-shirts are so cute this year and really soft. I'm going to show you. And here's the back of our shirt. I can't show you the front because it has our school name on it. This says learn, inspire, motivate, encourage, and lead. Because this will be our second year as our leader in me school. And super soft. Hey guys, I'm heading home. I did not put those two tubs that are in my classroom in my car because they're way too heavy for just me to carry. So um, tomorrow I'm gonna ask my dad to help put them in my car. Um, oh, I felt like I didn't get that much done today. I felt like I talked to a lot of people in the building, but I really did get a lot of stuff done. I did a lot more like labeling and trying to figure things out, cutting illumination out. Kind of glad I did that now because I know it's not going to fit and tomorrow I'll find a new spot to place it because I'm going to use it because I cut out all those pieces. But yeah, I'm going to come in tomorrow for sure debating or not if I want to come in on Sunday or make that be like my last hurrah of summer and not do anything that day. Not quite sure. But Monday we'll have a work day and we get to room our, work in our rooms the whole time. The only thing is that everyone will be have to be back at that point and so I know a lot of people are going to want to chit chat. So I at least want my room looking good at that point. So I'm hoping we can get a lot of stuff done. So So tired, it was last night, this fell down. I didn't even bother to pick it up. Hey guys, it's Saturday and I'm working my classroom today, so I don't know if you can see. Do I back up? Where? No? Hold on. Maybe. I don't know. But this wall. Oh, oh, there we go. This wall. We're trying to do this today. I think I'm gonna put that sign that I was gonna have above my sink here because I got some spots that I need to cover. Ignore all this. This needs to be put away too. My parents are coming later today to come do a couple things so I'll show you what they're going to do. So my dad's going to raise 
this table for me. So that's gonna help to reach that sign. My mom and I will probably work on this sign over here. What else do I have to do? Oh, the back of this bookshelf. The nails are starting to come out. You can see here. They're starting to come out. So I'm gonna have him nail that together when he gets here. Hey guys, it's really warm in here, so I'm gonna be really quick with showing you everything that we did today. It's pretty much done. I just gotta clean up, and I will. I'm gonna do that on Monday because it's hot, so I'm going to leave soon. But I'm gonna show you what we did. So this wall, you can see. So we finally put it all up. All those words fit. It took us all day, all day to put that up there because we had to cover certain spots. And now you can't see. So that is done. And then what else did we do? My dad fixed a couple things in the classroom. But then we have that done. So I have to finish putting this together. So that's done. I have all these chalkboards that I got last year from Target Dollar Spot that I use for like signs for back to school night. I have, so these dark notebooks you really go down there in one of the black ones, but it's not going to fit tonight. I already put down my sit spots. It looks good. It needs to be vacuumed, but I'm just going to put these things to under the table. My dad raised that today. So it's just kind of more like cleaning up tomorrow. I'm putting stuff away, but it is warm in here. All I have to really do now is clean up and get ready for meet the teacher night. So exciting and I'm gonna go home I plan to not come tomorrow and just chill out relax and be done so we'll see if I make it through with that so see you guys on Monday